need some new guidance when it comes to breast cancer screenings. The U.S. Preventative Services Task Force is now recommending women get a mammogram every other year beginning at age 40. That's a significant change from the previously recommended age of 50. Joining us now to discuss this update is Dr. John Wong. He is the vice chair of the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force. Dr. Wong, uh, why is the task force updating these screening recommendations? We've seen that in a number of cases uh, that cancer screenings are being recommended at a younger age, even for prostate cancer. Yeah. What's going on? Good morning. This is oh so important. The latest science shows that more women in their 40s have been getting breast cancer with a rate that increases by about 2% per year, year after year. And as a consequence, it makes complete sense that screening every other year, starting at age 40, would provide additional benefit. And so our recommendation statement recommends that all women be screened every other year, starting at age 40, to help them live longer and healthier lives. So Now, sorry, as to why that's occurring, mm -hmm. we don't exactly know yet. We have that data from what I call a 10,000 foot view, uh, which is a survey of what's occurring within the population. We need more research to understand why that is going on. But there are a number of different hypotheses um, that are out there. So doctor, maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I felt like it at one point was 40. And then I guess it must have changed or something like that. Uh, do we know like, who's included under these guidelines? So let me address that in two parts. First, when we last looked at this recommendation in 2016, we viewed that there was a closer balance of the benefits and harms for women in their 40s. And we recommended screening starting at age 50 every other year. For women in their 40s, because there was a closer balance of the benefits and harms, there's still benefit. We felt that that was an individual choice based on preferences and values. What has changed from 2016 is that more women are developing breast cancer in their 40s. So it's no surprise now that we have shifted that ratio of benefits to harms, which is what the task force thinks uh, long and hard about, mm -hmm. so that we can make this recommendation that screening should start at age 40 every other year. And that has the potential to reduce deaths from breast cancer by about 20%. That's huge. That's one woman out of five who could be present for their family, be around to raise their children. And so it's a positive step forward. Now, some critics will say that these guidelines don't do enough to address the risk of breast cancer, like additional screenings or gaps in insurance coverage. Uh, how is the task force responding to that? Let me just say, we care deeply about breast cancer for all women in this nation. And yet we don't have enough evidence in particular. We recognize that there are health disparities. For example, in black women, they are 40% more likely to die from breast cancer than white women. And quite tragically and sadly, all too often develop aggressive cancers at a younger age. What is clear is that breast cancer screening can help them. And it's an important first step, but it's not enough. So we're calling for more research to understand how we can best reduce disparities, health disparities across screening and treatment. With regard to dense breast, we know that dense breast increases the risk for breast cancer. We also know that it, mammography does not work as well for these women, but it does work. And so we would strongly encourage women to get that. What we don't know is whether and how additional screening might help these women live longer and healthier lives. Doctor, I'm, so, I, I'm so glad mm -hmm. you brought up dense uh, breasts. And I'm just gonna ask you this question uh, because you are the vice chair of the US Preventative Services Task Force. Um, you know, the, the challenge I think with, with women with dense breasts, and a lot of them are African American, is that you go in for a mammogram, and then afterwards it is suggested that you go in for an ultrasound. I've always wondered why a task force, or why it isn't recommended that women with des dense breasts get their mammogram and an ultrasound all at one go. I think that it, that gap increases the likelihood that perhaps women won't go back for an ultrasound mm. and then won't get that information that they need. 
let me just say we all would like better treatments. We all would like better screening and we all would like better preventive measures. I'll just say when we looked for evidence long and hard for either ultrasound or MRI or possibly something else that might help us know with certainty that that additional screening benefit would outweigh the harms, we don't find enough evidence to make that recommendation. Mm. We base our recommendation strictly on the evidence, the science about the benefits versus the harms. And so we are urging for additional research to help us be able to make that recommendation based on solid scientific evidence about the benefits for the harm. Now, having said that, because there isn't enough evidence, we would encourage all women to have a discussion with their trusted healthcare professional and together make a decision that's right for them based on what is known and it, most importantly, their preferences and values. All right, Dr. John Wong, thank you so much. Thank you.